hi guys um welcome back to my channel once again so um today will be a bit different we'll be looking at um what is really happening in the market and um, um for for the past um four days now price is yet to make a new high or um dump um, to the downside so um the question is what do you expect or what um, what are your points of view looking at um, the current um, prices in the market so what, what I'll be looking at today is um, the the BTC USD and the ETH USD majorly I'll be focusing on BTC USD so um, like I explained in my previous video on ETH USD we had the same um, chart pattern forming also in the BTC USD so um, th the first thing you need to point out here is what are your levels of support and resistance now I I'll be looking at this particular pair on different time frame for the first one I'll be looking at the daily time frame so what are we looking at in this daily time frame the first one we need to look at is what where is my support my support is down right here at um, 3200 and where is my resistance my resistance around here so we had this um this this major pullback down every touch of this pulled the price down and reversed right at this point so now what are my expectations now th these are what I'm looking at because at this point in time the price is yet to make a major move to the upside or major move to the downside another thing you need to look at is what are the candlestick formation you are seen is there any um, formation resisting price to move higher and lower yes we have um, this particular move which is the top of this rejection week and the bottom part so we should expect price to hold within this range for some days before we get a major move either to the upside or to the downside now the same pattern i explained in my previous video on the eth usd we are still seeing the same pattern on btc usd so now what is the pattern we have the double bottom which i explained here we have um the u-shaped um bottom around here and we have the v-shaped bottom around here so now how, how do you how do you make profit out of this the first thing you need to note is this the first thing you need to note is you need price to break above some levels of support some levels of resistance rather you need price to break above this level of resistance um, I think I rather use this rectangle to point it out so we need price to move to break above this resistance and close above it just like what we had here we didn't see any um, body of the candle close above this so we need that to happen here before we can go long so this is how to to calculate or to measure out your profit targets the first thing you need to do is what you use your Fibonacci retracement from this high you take it down to this low now you point out what level are you looking at we're looking at in in, in this particular chart pattern we have the Adam and the if I explained in my previous video that the if must have a rounded shape 
and the other must have a pointed shape now we have we use your trend line from this resistance down to this that will be the height at which you use for your take profit then you put it at the top of the breakout where you expect breakout to happen so we expect price to move within to move within this particular range and our target should be between this um like i mentioned in my previous video your target should always be between the three extension ratios now we're looking at this major um, target around here so we're looking at this major target around here so we're looking at them um, five five thousand one hundred that's what we're looking at but take note of this i am not saying price would um, move to the upside and get to this target like i said we are into this consolidation we're on the fourth day of this consolidation which is um which i i identified the the major support and resistance of this candlestick which is from here down so we're looking at this major um resistance on top of this week and this um support at the bottom of the week so i said we need to break above this before price would likely test this level of resistance so i, I expect price to move within I expect price to move within this um this range um the 4k down to the 39 so I expect more price move within this range before we get a major move to the upside and um more to that I was um, looking at a lower time frame um in which um, we had something forming within this particular range which i am expecting more consolidation towards this side so in the lower time frame using the um, three hours time frame using um the three hours time frame we have um something like this forming like i said take note of this this levels should be noted this resistance on the top of this week and this support down here i said these levels must be maintained if price would have to break to the upside so we will have to see more and more consolidation within this range which we saw back here we had this this consolidation around here from here up here down to this level we didn't break below that so we will likely see um the same thing happening um around here too so i expect more price move within this range and more to that um taking it down to the one hour time frame more to that i have this um this horizontal level being maintained have this this particular chart pattern forming around this this level um, we have price holding within this particular range for some time i think um, to be more clear um, three hours time frame yeah Okay, we have something like this forming in which i extend it a little bit forward and so you can see how how price the body of the candle is yet to break above um, this particular um horizontal level which is 4k so what i still expect to see within um 
in the next two three four days expect price to maintain this level more like um, inside this this major support and resistance of this rejection week before we get a major push to the upside and more to that we have um, this target ahead to look out for we we'll measure the height of this from here down to this particular support here initially resistance but now it has turned to support so um we'll take this and put it above it which we use to calculate our take profit um, level so um we we'll use our fibonacci retracement we'll take it down to this level So what what I'm expecting to see is um, this major target around around um, four four three k. So we expect, like I said, I'm not expecting price to break out immediately. I still expect price to move within this range before we get a major break to the upside. This is for a shorter time why this we're looking at a longer time which is um the daily time frame so um lastly again still expect some major move around this this level um still expect some major move around this level before we get any upside to break above this resistance and more, more to that we have um this also forming when i use this ichimoku on the daily time frame so if i go down back up to the daily time frame um let me remove the chart on it so um, a quick view of what we're seeing here is um the feature cloud has turned bullish which is um the Kumo twist which um 26 period in the future which is uh, um half 26 period in the future um Kumo twist is bullish we had them um, the tk cross around here and lastly and the most important part of this ichimoku is um we have this resistance playing out here we don't want to take any trade when this chiku span is right inside this cloud we want um chiku span to move outside this cloud and come out before we take any trade so that's why i said uh, um, what i'm expecting is a um, price moving within this 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 particular range of um this particular range this particular range and i expect more move um sideways to the right why chico span will make some move outside this before we get a major breakout why i i made it clear chico span has to leave this cloud is because a whole lot of time when um chico span has entered the cloud and we had major reversal to the downside that's why it's not advisable to take any trade when chico span is inside the cloud so we want, we want a clear view when um, um chico span it is outside this this major bearish cloud but apart from that the tk cross is bullish the future cloud is bullish so we just expect one more signal to come out of this tick red cloud and this is just on um, a default settings and when i view it on the doubled cloud settings we have um something different we have um something that would likely play out which is um the edge to edge trade we have price inside the cloud and we're about to have another 
TK bullish crossing where the red is will cross the blue from up to downside. So when we have this and prices inside the cloud, we will we'll call that um, the edge to edge trade where price closes inside the cloud. Let's hype up little that price will test the upper cloud resistance. So when you see this setup, when a candlestick closes inside the cloud, breaking through this um, cloud resistance, you can see the blue line under the cloud. When price breaks that resistance and enters into the cl cloud, there's high probability that um, price will test the upper cloud resistance. It can be around can be around here and it can be around um, it can be around here as well so what we expect is the first thing we need is what this TK bullish crossing force before any major move to the upside and lastly I want to look at what ETH is doing as well ETH USD just like I mentioned in my previous um, video we have um, the same pattern playing out around here so we have the, the V bottom and the U I also made it clear here we have still the same um, pattern playing out here again we have the horizontal resistance and we have the horizontal resistance around here and we still have uh, the diagonal support around here so much like the same the same um, chart pattern playing out in Bitcoin as well it's we are seeing the same move around here. We have another rejection week around here, and what we we need to look at is what we have this level to break, and this level to break. So we are on the fourth day of consolidation, which is the fourth day. So majorly, majorly to to take the targets. We have the height of um, this from here down to this um, low, and we'll drag this, put it on top of this place, and we have our target around. We have our target around one seven four. So th these are what I'm looking out for in the next coming week. So I'm um, thinking um, for now. We should expect more and more consolidation within this range as well as um, um bitcoin within this particular range from 4k down to 39 before we have any major push, push to the upside so um the rsi also is way above the RSI now it's above 50 close to close to the overbought area but we see we see getting another signal a push to the upside not really giving us a sign of reverse reversal for now because it hasn't crossed them um, 70 and stayed above so we see expecting more move to the upside to cross 70 and stay above before we um, call that overbought so for now um, we're see seeing another move to the upside as well as um, the ETH as well so um, these are what I'm looking at in the next coming week um, and I'll be uploading more and more videos in the next coming week as well and have something coming up which i would like to drop in my next video so like subscribe and um
put that notification on because I have something I want to share with everyone which I know everyone will benefit from so have a nice day and enjoy yourself